I don't know that there is an award this man hasn't won. In fact, I think most people think the name of the award is the Coretta Scott King Jerry Pinckney Award. Um, you know, it may as well be. Uh, Caldecott, uh, you know, there hasn't been another artist that I know of who has been such an inspiration to other artists, um, welcoming as a teacher, an inspiration to kids uh, around this country, uh, certainly minority kids, but every kid loves Jerry Pinckney. Um, you know, he's, his books are classics as soon as he puts down his brushes. It's like automatic clashes. Um, but even more, I think, uh, for people than the artwork is Jerry has been an inspiration for the way he lives his life with grace, with honesty, um, just welcoming other illustrators whenever he sees them. And, um, and I think that is something we can all learn from. Uh, and at an age and a time when he could be resting on his laurels, he is out there speaking to school kids, going to conferences. Um, you know, it's, he, hasn't, uh, he hasn't given up that day-to-day drive and wonder, and I love, more than anything, seeing how kids come in the gallery and stand in front of Jerry Pinckney's work, and you can just see their eyes, just, you know, they can't, it's, it's full of wonder, and it's wonderful to see, so I'm thrilled to be uh, in this gallery and watch people encounter his work, it's just uh, an amazing thing. Uh, more importantly, I... Jerry, I think, is one of the, uh, perhaps the only artist. I pursued him for years to get him into this gallery uh, to the point where finally he said, if you stop bothering me, I'll give you some artwork. So there's a lesson in that persistence. But uh, as a man and as an artist, there is no one I am happier to uh, see get this award than Mr. Jerry Pinckney. When Rich came to me and, and said, hey, we're thinking about giving you the Reader to Reader Award, and um, how do you feel about that? And I said, it was great. I mean, you've heard me up here talk about what I think of Rich in the gallery. So I was thinking about my remarks, and, um, and I couldn't get away from the cliche of, um, the metaphor of icing on the cake. I, I, believe me, I tried. Don't cringe. I tried. <laughs> but in a sense, it, it is that. I, I want you to bear with me about um, this year that I've had and also uh, over 50 years in, in making images for children's books. Um, I want to start with, first of all, recognizing those artists and authors who received this honor. And um, make, make sure I don't leave anybody out, but, but Norton and Jane Yolen and Wendell Minor, Susanna Richards and Nick Clark and Julius Lester. Am I, am I okay? Julius Lester. Anita Silvey? Anita Silvey. Uh, and you said Susanna, right? Yes, right. What's beautiful about this is that I've spent time. I mean, I have a relationship with all these folks. Norton might not remember that that morning we met, we had breakfast, we sort of ran into each other in Dallas, Texas. And we sat and had breakfast and a great conversation. I think the beauty of it was we just sort of met and sort of came together. Uh, Wendell Minor, um, a great friend of mine, and, and just this June, being able to be with him and celebrate the artist laureate, which I was in you know, the last two years. Each and every one of them holds a sort of a pocket for me in my heart. Um, but this last, well, two months where I spent time um, at Miami University with the celebration of a show of African American artists. Uh, and then there was the Chappaqua Book Festival, and then the Rhode Island Book Festival. Um, and, and it kept rolling on. 
And um, then there was this trip to schools in um, Thomasville, Georgia, where one day was visiting schools, the other day was visiting plantations and tenant homes. Um, so, and then the other night uh, at the original art show opening, and, and I was speaking, I was speaking to someone and I said, you know, this is what it's all about. Can you believe this? This is community. And they said, well, really it's about the art. And I thought, whoa, wait a minute. Isn't that, it's all of that? It's all of that. It's this sense that we are together. And there is such energy in the gatherings um, that we have um, that's so, so powerful. Get this. I get up in the morning for 50 years. I get to do something that I love. I make marks on a paper. Those marks turn into a book that book could possibly change the child's life. At least getting them started about thinking about art. I get to do this every day. And then I get to be here tonight with so many names I can name over and over again in relationship to a conversation or just being together. You know what? It is the icing on the cake. Thank you.